How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to be speaking about Jack Grealish and what he got up to at the weekend. We're going to be speaking about Barcelona and the fact that they are taking a wage cut. And we're also going to be speaking about Marcus Rashford as he steps up his rehabilitation back from injury. I represent my fucking self. How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is Aston Villa's Jack Grealish and he's been a bit of a naughty boy now. Normally if you see a few headlines in the papers or the news over the course of a weekend that a footballer's gone out, got drunk, you think, well, it's standard practice. Um, we've all done it. But we haven't done it when we're on lockdown under government guidelines and we haven't jumped in a car, drink driving and smashing into a load of others and then doing a runner. Um, so he's in a bit of trouble, that's for sure. Um, and Jack Grealish has apologised and been fined by Aston Villa after breaking government lockdown guidelines amid the coronavirus pandemic. The 24-year-old revealed he left his house to meet with a friend over the weekend, despite being instructed with staying at home to prevent the spread of the virus. Now Grealish took to social media um, to issue an apology and this is what he said. Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video message just to say how deeply embarrassed I am by about what has happened this weekend. I know it's tough time for everybody at the moment being locked indoors for so long and obviously I got a call from a friend asking me to go round to his and I stupidly agreed to do so. I don't want anyone to make the same mistake that I did. I obviously and genuinely I want to stay at home and follow the rules and guidelines that we have been asked to do. I know for a fact that I'll be doing that in the near future now and obviously as I said I urge everyone to do the same. I hope everyone can accept my apology and we can move on from this and hopefully in the near future we can all be out enjoying ourselves again once this has all boiled over. Um, Aston Villa have said that they are deeply disappointed by the incident and confirmed that the 24 year old will be disciplined and fined for his behaviour with all proceeds set to be donated to charity. Aston Villa is deeply disappointed that one of our players ignored the government's guidelines and staying home during the coronavirus crisis. Club captain Jack Grealish has accepted that his decision to leave his house was wrong and entirely unnecessary. It breached the government guidelines which are clear and should be adhered to by everybody. The player will be disciplined and fined with the proceeds donated to the University Hospitals Charity in Birmingham. So yeah, he hasn't been a good boy and um, first of all, fair play to him for, you know, doing the video and apologising, you know, being a man and that is the, the hardest part, which is to apologise and he's done that and, you know, it is tough for everybody but he's in a position where he should know better um, and I think that he's already been grilled and told and everything else about it. And, um, you know, he made a video on social media only a few days ago where he was speaking about the coronavirus pandemic and saying everyone needs to stay home and we need to help the NHS and everything else. And within the space of a few hours, he's out on the piss around his mates, leaving at four o'clock, jumping in a car, drink driving, smashing into loads of parked vehicles. And it's just not right. He's a... Uh, professional sportsman he's a role model to so many people out there and he will know just how bad this is on him um, what could the lasting effects be to this could it actually stop him getting a big move you know in the summer or maybe at a future time um, that remains to be seen he's been widely tipped to be picked with um, an England international could that now make Gareth Southgate change his mind um, it's one of those, it's not great given the current situation. If this was, you know, a normal weekend when we're not in the situation we're in, it would be bad enough. Drink driving, smashing into cars, doing a runner and all that. Um, but it's something that everyone would probably forget about in due course. But given the situation and given the fact he did a video telling everyone to stay home and then he's out on the piss... It's not a good look and um, fair play to Aston Villa, they're dealing with it 
and it's nice to see that the money will also be going to the local hospital as a charity and everything else so that's a good part out of it i suppose uh next story involves barcelona now there's been some talk about barcelona and their players um not taking a wage cut well Lionel messi has confirmed that barcelona players have taken a 70 percent wage cut um so that's a massive massive cut in their wage and fair play to them um and it goes on to say here barcelona players have accepted a 70 percent pay cut and pledge donations to help the club's non-sport staff continue to receive their full wages. Lionel Messi announced the move in an Instagram post insisting Barcelona players were always open to pay cuts due to the coronavirus pandemic but had to take time to iron out the details. The time has come to announce that a part of the reduction of 70% of our salary during the state of alarm we are going to make contributions as well to that club employees can collect 100% of their salary for the duration of this situation. Um, if we did not speak until now, it was because of the priority for us was to find the solution that were real to help the club. In confirming the move from all of Barcelona's players, Messi criticised suggestions that club stars have been slow to take this step. Much has been written and said about the first team of Barcelona in what refers to the salaries of the players during the state of alarm. First of all, we want to clarify that our will has always been to apply a decrease in the salary we receive because we fully understand that this is an exceptional situation and we are the first ones who have always helped the club when asked. Many times we have even done it on our own initiative at other times um, that we thought necessary or important. It does not surprise us that from within the club there are those who tried to put us under the magnifying glass and tried to add pressure about something that we always knew we would do. In fact, if the agreement had been delayed for a few days, it is simply because we were looking for a formula to help the club and also its workers in difficult times. So um, yeah, do you know what? That's fair play to Barcelona. They've taken their 70% um, you know, wage cut, and I suppose to a lot of those players, they're not really going to feel it. Um, people will sit there and say that, you know, they earn enough anyway, and it's the right thing to do. Um, but yeah, given the current situation, it's a first for everybody. Um, but it's nice to see that, you know, players are helping out other staff and everything else, and, you know, taking wage cuts. And it's nice to see that you know, the non-sport inside of Barcelona staff and everything will get 100% of their wages. So that will take a weight off their minds given the current situation in Spain um, because it's pretty bad out there at the moment as well with the coronavirus pandemic. So yeah, fair play to Barcelona. Um, last piece of news involves Marcus Rashford. Now he's been out since January um, with a stress fracture to his back and he has been speaking and saying that Manchester United have cleared his step up with his rehabilitation from a back injury um, that of course has kept him out since January as I was saying. Um, Rashford has been speaking and he's been saying that he's feeling 10 times better than he done at the beginning of March um, as he recovers from that double stress fracture to his back. The England striker who has scored 19 goals in 31 club appearances this season said he expected a scan to reflect the improvements he had felt and United confirmed those scans had shown encouraging signs. Manchester United can confirm that Marcus Rashford has been cleared to step up his rehabilitation programme following encouraging signs on his latest scans, a club statement said. His progress will continue to be monitored by the club's medical team throughout the current lockdown period. There had been doubts over whether Rashford would be fully fit in time to make Gareth Southgate's squad for Euro 2020, but with the championships pushed back until next summer, the 22-year-old can now focus on being ready for United whenever club football resumes. During his interview, he went on to speak about everything and like I was saying, he feels a lot better. Definitely, comparing it to two or three weeks ago, I feel 10 times better. For me now, it is just about getting ready to build it back up to training and playing the games with the team. I am in a much better place. I am much happier now than I was about a month ago. So things are looking positive. 
Um, so good news for Manchester United, and I suppose this is one thing that you can probably take from this break, is that players that were injured um, and likely to miss the remainder of the season will probably be back in time if the season does get back underway. So that would be good news for Manchester United because their striking options um, are very scarce at the moment. Igalo, of course, he's been doing all right since he's came in. Um, but they would definitely like to have Rashford back in the fold, that's for sure. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video. I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.